Yo! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! I scared even my damn self. I want to roll to Vernon, bro. What's good, bro? And um, we are quarantined and bullshit around. And them tell me if you come see the fast car. How you doing? All right, all right. Yeah, and today, today you get the natural, the natural, um, the native accent. I don't even know if you guys can even hear me. But um, we're here to look at Vernon's pride and joy. And it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? But it's worth it. I think it's a good car. I can already see the freaking end result of this car when it's done. <laughs> so, uh... Man, Eagle Talon, what is it, first gen? First generation. First gen Eagle Talon, bro. Right. Man, about to clap everything. Trying to make sense of what doesn't make sense right now. It, this car makes sense. <laughs> it's a 4G63. It's an evil, but front wheel drive. Yeah. Everything's apart right now because. The work in progress like you said so definition of project car here it is shoot but all the interior is there so i'm happy about that have some random miscellaneous stuff. parts yeah. <laughs> miscellaneous parts like man i have a big ass turbo nice little disco potato here <laughs> uh, valve trains should have had all that shit for the for the rx7 but I'm gonna let you slide. Don't, don't remind me. I'm gonna let you slide. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, bro, it's, I can't wait to see this shit running. Yeah. I had all this stuff that was mocked up on the car, but I have all the stuff on it now. Well, I like the block off plate that you got on the front right here. They yeah. just kind of tough. It's pretty sick. All the drag guys do it, so I'm trying to be like them. <laughs> And this bonnet vent, this um, Naka duct, is yeah, it's different. HVAC, Home Depot style. Yeah, 4G63. Stock manifold, Evo 3 turbo. Stock math, which has to go. Okay. It's very ugly. And I got the brand crawler, 72, safety and combo. Block, J pistons. It will work. So, it won't look like they have nothing done to it, but they have something done to it. So. For her people's feelings. Just for piss off some people. Facts. <laughs> Tell everybody say it's a K-series. <laughs> big ass cams, bro. Yeah, cam cam gears are big. That's one thing I loved about these engines, these giant cam gears. It's a huge. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Lock style mom exhaust manifold. What's the wastegate going back to though? Why does it have this kind of rubbery holes on it? So that is the inlet for the cold side or hot side in the cooler pipe. So this connects to a flex pipe that goes into the intercooler pipe. Wait, what? Yeah. That's the wastegate. The wastegate's an integrated yeah, wastegate down there. there. So this is what? That's for the charge pipe, for the intercooler. Why is it freaking uh, metal like that though? I've never seen that before. It's weird. I don't know either. But it looks like it conducts a lot of heat. These cars are the king of heat, so. so it is a terrible car. Yeah. That's basically what I'm dealing with. There's still some stuff from like the previous owner that I have to get rid of, like that thing. Catch cat? Yeah, it looks like it's from Fast and the Furious. If it works, though, it works. I'd rather not. Because when you look inside of it, full of, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. That go back in the engine, man. Oh, let me show you what happened to the ECU. Yeah, so let me show you what happened to the ECU. Oh, shit. 
whole bunch of corrosion, a whole bunch of whole shit bunch burnt of, out. A whole bunch of Mitsubishi stuff. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So, that, she's dead in the water right now because of that. Ouch. All right, so now I'm at my brother. Completely different clip, same video. Um, Brandon had to go get some stuff done, and I'm with the EK hatch. You guys don't really get to see much on this car, but the car does start, it does run. We just have minor stuff to do, um, which I'm gonna try to start taking on today. I gotta run a switch for the fan. Make a custom switch for that so I can flip it on in a car. And also, I need to bleed the brakes so we can actually take it for a spin. So if all goes well, uh, we might be taking the car on a drive today if everything goes well. So I'm going to go in the car, um, get situated. I already do have a switch, which is right here. But I'm gonna run it to the ignition. So I'm gonna run the power to the ignition fuse from the ignition uh, from the ignition back to the switch, and from the switch back to the uh, the actual fan switch. If you guys get what I'm saying. So this is ground. This is power. Power and ground. So ground is gonna go here. Power is gonna go here. Power blue. Ground is black, obviously. The power wire is going to run back to the ignition. Ground is going to go to the ground. And we're going to run it back inside the car. So I went to AutoZone. And I got a 40 foot for 8 bucks. 40 foot wire for 8 bucks. 16 gauge. Oh, 18 gauge wire. So I'm going to do. I'm going to just use that. And knock it out real quick. Let's get to it. Y'all probably can't even see what the hell I'm doing right now. So, I'm doing the, the power wire right now. This is power. I just need to make sure it's, it's good. Then what I plan to do is kind of tuck this over here, run it along. But also I have to make sure I have the right length and wire. So I gotta, I gotta loosen some more of this. You get me, you get me for my British Chanel. All right y'all boys, so don't you gotta start at the back first? Yeah, farthest away from the nest, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you go drain everything? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to drain. Put new fluid in. It is new fluid though. That? Yeah, it's fresh fluid. Yeah, take it. Remember, right, remember everything was dry. Out. Everything was off the car. A new fluid is supposed to be enough. It was new fluid, but um, you can drain if you want. Start all over if you want. <laughs> Ready? Well, the president? No, you can't do that yet. <laughs> so you gonna? And just keep topping it off. All right, cool. So Lemon's gonna pull the, the nipple. Yes. <laughs> He's like yes. Yo, what do you have that on, puppy man? So I'm just topping it off while they do what they're doing over there. Shift the cables and stuff. Uh, this guy, uh, Jeff, has a raffle going on for a hybrid shifter, shifter plate, and shifter cables. He's on Instagram. He's on Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Oh. You need to get IG, bro. Out of all the holes, bro. That's them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hello. Right. What are we talking about? <laughs> How long? Alright, keep going. 
I'm just gonna keep topping this. Hold on. What holes did you have to get for this? Hmm? What holes did you have to get? I forgot what top hose that is. That's not a Honda top hose though. I think it's like a, uh, I think it was a, they might have issues. Said the rust got into the, I guess a little hole. Yeah, I blocked it out so it wasn't flowing properly. So you just put some um, paint thinner. Paint thinner kind of cleaned it out so it's gonna put it back on there and we're back to bleeding the brakes again well he is the boy got big money k tune This shit go all the way to the floor. Yeah, this shit floored. Yeah. It's floored. I'm flooring it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Gavin Lemeron, they went to go get a tool so I can pull the clip off of the uh, ball joint. We're taking the ball joint off. We're actually changing it because it's bad. So while they're out getting it, I already pulled the tire, the wheel off, and um, I'm going to change it. What happened was the ball joint is spinning when I put the bolt on there. So we got to knock that out real quick. We already bled all the brakes, so that's out of the way, which is... A plus and yeah we're still pushing to drive the car today so let's let me take this off and um I'm gonna wait on Gavin and Nemron to get back and let's change this ball drunk all right since nobody wants to do it they got everything situated new ball joint new everything and they don't want to check the car so I guess I have to go and check it The brake just now after like 20 miles. Yeah, it matters. You so, feel way better, man. Kinda. Feel way better than before, though. Probably does. Yeah, that's a brick. Let me just jump on the brake and install it. Let's see. First, 
actual drive or move. You wanna come over the car in case or not, you know. I did not miss this no power here in life. Looking clean, cars running fine, <clears throat> and I'm glad I have this the opportunity to work on the car. Hey, the house of Honda, what's up, bro? Um, I'm glad we had the opportunity to spend some time, give this car some love because this car has been sitting for a few months, and it's now that we're under the COVID, and we got a lot more free times on our hand, free time on our hands. Why not work on the car? You guys seen the car run, it drives. Um, <clears throat> next, hopefully we can get some pulls in or get it tuned or we don't know yet. We have some planned store for this, so we'll see what happens. Maybe this weekend it might be going for paint. We don't know yet. We'll see what happens. You guys will see what happens. So <sighs> if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, comment your thoughts. And thank you. I really appreciate everyone that has been supporting. Please share the video. Please comment. Please like. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.